Well, come back to an episode. Chefing it up with us. Okay, so I'm making some lobster pasta today. I was gonna make something different. I had like a whole different little menu situation to do today, but Julius wants to eat the same things over and over again. So he wants his favorite, one of his top favorite dishes that I make, and it is lobster pasta. I usually use linguine, so I call it lobster linguine, but I only have spaghetti noodles today, so we're gonna be using that. You guys said that you like when I do cooking segments and include that in the vlog, so that's what we're doing today. I'm gonna be showing you guys some of my favorite recipes that I make. I'm gonna try to incorporate them into a lot more vlogs. You guys also liked my little makeup routine, so let me know if you guys wanna see more like makeup and hair related content. I can always just sprinkle that quickly into a vlog. I absolutely hate shredding Parmesan cheese, but it just tastes so much better when you freshly grate it than if you buy it already pre-shredded It's just or pre-grated. This is a key ingredient. You have to shred it yourself, okay? Don't be lazy. I'm also gonna shred up a little bit of mozzarella. Not a lot, just a little sprinkle, but I'm not gonna bore you with that. So let me just give you guys the ingredients. Let's get straight into it. You need some minced garlic, lemon, Parmesan cheese, mozzarella cheese, you need heavy whipping cream, you need lobster tail, a pasta noodle of your choice, my favorite is linguine, like I said, and then just seasonings, and I'll show you what I put into it in a sec when we get there. Seasonings. Man, man, you look so good. I like your hair. You do? Your hair looks good. Are you sure? It's so beautiful. Okay, step number one for our lobster oh. sauce portion. That's Kawa's mom. Let him know. Let him know. You're gonna take some avocado oil. I prefer avocado oil over olive oil, but I mean, they work the same, I suppose. And you need some butter. Some butter. Butter. Not Look how the organized she is, though. Ooh. You need some butter. Some butter. Just however much your little heart desires, honestly. I really just cook from the heart. Like when my heart says, that's a good amount, then I know. I'm gonna lower the heat because I'm about to throw the garlic in and you do not want your garlic to burn. So I'm gonna let this butter cool off a little bit. I'm actually gonna add a little bit of the cold butter to help cool it off as well. Don't wash the pan, don't remove any of that butter because you want that lobster flavor, like I said. So you're gonna take your garlic, toss that in. Babe, you're over there missing steps. Mm -hmm. What the heck is that all about? I'm looking to try to look at the same time as recording. I'm hungry. Garlic, you're only gonna saute for literally like 30 seconds just so it becomes fragrant. You don't wanna burn your butter because then the whole dish is bitter and nasty. So remember. Now you're gonna add in some heavy whipping cream. And you may be wondering, how much heavy whipping cream, Destiny? You're not giving us any measurements, like I said. Just wing it, just eyeball it. That was a weak closing statement, babe. I thought she was going from like, I mean, only I was supposed I will to come know come hard. or something. Only I will know. You said just wing it. No, like, I'm trying what? to help them. I literally don't know. Like, I literally couldn't tell you guys because I just pour until I think that's a good amount of sauce. I don't know. So once your sauce has thickened and it's simmering a little bit and you can kind of go like this, this is how you know it's thick. If you move it, does it follow and leave a space? Yes. So now it's ready for our cheese. So we're gonna take some of our parm and sprinkle that on in there. Now we're gonna season our sauce. Onion powder, kind of the same seasonings that we used for the lobster, except just one different. Garlic powder, black pepper, Lurry seasoned salt, paprika, and parsley. Yeah, Hings is looking nice. I'm about to wax Hings. Destiny made me wait to take the first bite on camera. <laughs> What's your rating? 10. 10? Is 10. it hot? 
It's kind of hot. <laughs> it's a tan by me though. Okay. So. Now mine. My turn. Mm. Okay, that was really good, but I just realized I forgot one of the main ingredients in the pasta. <gasps> I usually put tomato paste in and I completely forgot. Oopsies. Good morning, y'all. It is Thursday and today is a great day. Destiny's actually at Pilates right now. Um, me and Coco is just chilling. Don't mind the house because it's kind of dirty because, you know, Coco be making a mess over there. But we just chilling, you know what I'm saying? Today's a vibey day. But I really woke up today and I was just like, hmm, what am I missing today? Like, what am I really like missing today? And I was just thinking like, bro, I just, I miss Texas. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I can't wait to get down to Texas and finally move and start our journey with building our whole backyard and all that stuff. You guys don't know yet, but we will fill you guys in probably a little bit later. Um, Doodle wants to say what's up. You wanna say what's up? You wanna say what's up, miss? Say what's up, miss. But we're excited. We're just trying to get everything all situated and figured out when we're gonna be moving and all that stuff. So that's kind of what we've been doing these past couple of weeks and the weeks to come. That's what we're gonna be figuring out. But honestly, I'm just excited. I'm tired of this, like literally walking around the crib and it's just like uncovered, you know what I'm saying? Coco wants to say hi. Let's see what Coco's talking about. What you talking about over here, boy? What y'all shirt off and stuff? Thinking that you being and stuff, man? Say, I, I say, I did it, boy. Say, I did it, boy. <laughs> you's a crazy man, boy. You's a crazy man. Say, guys, I'm almost one years old. In like four days, I'm gonna be one. How do you feel, baby? How do you feel you're gonna be one years old? You're literally gonna be one years old, baby. You were never a walking, talking. Dang, okay, that's how you feel about it then? Is that how you feel about it then? Oh, you want me to get you out of there? That's what you want. Okay, then I'll get you out of there. I, no, matter of fact, I'm getting in here with you. We ain't getting out of here, boy. We gonna play then. Show me how you walk then. Yeah. See, I don't even really crawl no more. I'm a big boy, guys. I just walk. Walk it like I talk it. Hey, walk it like I talk it. Hey. Ooh. I'm scared of you. I'm scared of you. I'm scared of you. I'm scared of you. <laughs> You're so handsome, baby. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. <laughs> My baby be looking so nice. Big TRX thing, baby. Woo, look at that. I ain't nothing to play with. So we came to the mall and Moko Man is sleeping. Still He's sleeping. out. Oh, my poor baby. The only bad thing about switching to that other car seat is now we don't have the convenience of the Duna being able to be a stroller too. So we need to go get a stroller because we just don't have one. And I'm not trying to bring like a big old stroller all around, so we need like He's a little heavy. lightweight, compact one. He's heavy. He's still sleeping. He's been sleeping this whole mall trip. We're back from the mall. I'm gonna do a little haul, show you guys what we got. We only had time to go to one store, so we just went to Zara. They had the kids section, the women's section, and the men, so perfect. And they have a lot of neutral stuff, so we're kind of going with like a nude vibe so julie's got this shirt so i'm thinking he can wear this with like some light jeans it's a nice fancy material kind of thing and then i got this dress which i think is really cute it's kind of long and flowy but i also saw that they had these nude leather pants there so i was thinking it would be really cute to wear like the nude leather pants with a cream colored sweater to match the boys vibe. I found this sweater for Koa at Zara. How cute is this? And I know you're probably thinking, girl, it's like 100 degrees. It's literally like 95 today. Um, well, we're gonna be indoor for the photo shoot, so we're gonna go with the warm fall vibes. We got this cute sweater. How cute is this with the collar? Oh my goodness, look at this, a leather jacket. Is that not the cutest thing you've ever seen? I'm thinking these for a little shirtless moment with Coco would be so cute. 
Hopefully this stuff fits him. I'm gonna have to try it on him and we all know that's gonna be a struggle. I got this little bag because I think it would be cute to pair with like this or with really anything. Any of these outfits it would go with. Julius found this jacket. This isn't for the photo shoot, is it? I don't know. I was thinking it like, I'm over here making a sandwich, my bad guys. I, gotta, <laughs> I know, I gotta, you come over here with a butter knife all I'm up sorry, in my I, grill. I gotta hurry up because I got a haircut appointment at 12 and I'm probably gonna be like 10 minutes late. But no, I got this one because I wanted to do like a vintage look. Well, with oh. this and oh, with and this. this. This, this is, is like a vintage cute. Mickey Mouse type set. I think that would be like a dope. Really cute. With maybe like a baseball bat and like put like a... You know what I'm saying? Better like, start ordering some props. Yeah, I know. We gotta start ordering. No, I actually have a whole big cart on Amazon. Way too much stuff with props, so I need to order that ASAP. These, really cute. Beachy vibes, comfortable. All right. That's and Saint these. Mark. I mean, that's not St. Mark's, that's uh, Turks and Caicos. Turks and Caicos vibes. vibes, yeah. I was thinking one of these pants would be really cute also for like a little shirtless moment with just a little one hat. Well, I got a lot of options because I don't know what's gonna look cute and he can just still always wear it. We got a little black outfit. These are so soft. This feels like cashmere. It's probably not, but it feels like it. Julius picked out these really cute green or olive colored jeans. Why are baby clothes so cute? And this shirt. I don't know, he's thinking that this goes together. I don't think it does. No, it's just like, because it's, it's just like the pictures. It's all olive green. Just his toes out, you know what I'm saying? Toes out? You want him to be toes out up here? Yeah, that's in that picture, because it's like, you know, all green, toes out, good, nice, outdoorsy vibe. Okay, well, we'll see what looks good. So that's our little Zara haul. Um, Julius is gonna go get his hair cut, and then we'll check back in with you guys when he gets back. Ooh, look at that haircut. You guys are crazy, let me see. Is Coco gonna get a haircut for his first birthday? Yep, we are gonna get fresh, you know what I'm saying? I'm already fresh though, you get a red haircut straight from Jay Jizzle. <laughs> he just threw up all over me guys, so I gotta go change my shirt in a second, but I'll change it in a second. Just don't look at it. Could you guys believe that my baby boy is gonna be one years old? One on years Tuesday? old? <laughs> go on, I can't even believe it. How do you feel that you're gonna be a big boy officially? A toddler. You're gonna be a toddler. We're gonna have a toddler in a couple days. It's so crazy. It's honestly, it's kind of crazy just to see like <laughs> him grow every day. Look at him. Like he, he literally barely walks now. I mean no, barely crawls, barely. he only walks. Yeah, he like he doesn't even want Look. us to hold him anymore because he always wants to be down walking. He never is crawling. <laughs> It's kind of crazy just to see like the progression that he's having. But I know a lot of you guys are wondering what we are gonna be doing for his first birthday. I know it's a big one and a lot of people are probably expecting us to throw like a big party. Crazy party or something. And we thought about it, but we honestly decided that this year we're, we're just gonna skip on the big party for a few reasons. We would do it for Koa, right? Yes. But he's so small that he wouldn't even enjoy the party yet. I don't think he would even enjoy being around a lot of people yet. And we're kind of in like the process of moving, so it's kind of hard to figure out like, it's a difficult yeah. time. So instead, we're just gonna be having some fun, going to a lot of fun places with just us and like my mom and a couple other people that wanna join us. Yeah, I think honestly, he'll have a lot more fun doing something like as an experience and just seeing new fun stuff. Yeah, is that Not gonna be so fun? Yay! And of course we have this photo shoot coming up. We're not Ooh. missing out on that photo shoot. We got a photo shoot for him in a couple days. So stay tuned for that because we will be vlogging that. But yeah, guys, we aren't gonna be throwing him no crazy big party. We plan on just going somewhere and him getting the full experience of where we're going. And it's gonna be fun because we're going to two different places that are super, super full of activities and he's just gonna have a blast and definitely remember his first birthday, if he can remember <laughs> his first birthday. But with that being said, we hope you guys enjoyed this video and we will see you guys in our next video. We love you guys so much. Peace.